What's up, y'all? Janique here, Janique TV, back with another message. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to commit to my channel by pressing that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell. That way you don't miss an episode of what I'm doing here. Did I say of? I don't know if I skipped a word. <laughs> but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how you need to watch the people around you and see what their motives really are. People around you will see you as a threat because they see exactly who you are and who you're going to become right and they don't want you to have more than them so they're going to do whatever they can in their power to take what they see away from you to take the blessing away from you to stop you from reaching your highest potential they'll do it all so you have to check the people's motives around you right i want to go ahead and go to a scripture i'm in first samuel chapter 18 verse 6 through 9 and it reads, when the men were returning home after David had killed the Philistine, the women came out of all towns of Israel to meet King Saul with dancing and singing, with joyful songs and with timbrels and lyres. As they danced, they sang, Saul has slain his thousands and David his tens of thousands. Saul was very angry. This refrain displeased him greatly. They have credited David with tens of thousands, he thought, but me, only thousands. What more can he get but the kingdom? And from that time, on Saul kept a close eye on David okay David did whatever for Saul David was so loyal to Saul and Saul got upset because people praised David for killing more people than he killed you know and he kept a close eye on him or he made him his enemy that's what that really means he made him his enemy from that day moving forward or his frenemy because you know you don't really know when people have a problem with you until a situation arrives for them to show their true colors because those closest to you it's like kind of like a battle that they're having inside of them, right? We don't really know the battle. I can't relate to the battle. You feel me? Let me put my Bible down. <laughs> I can't really relate to the Bible because I want everybody to win. I don't care if you have more than I have because what I have is for me and what you have is for you, right? I got to be confident in my ability to get whatever I want in this life. And I know that you getting what you want is not going to stop me from getting what I want, right? So you have to watch the people around you, okay? People see you as a threat because they know exactly who you're going to be. You just don't see it yet, you know? And it's kind of like almost... Almost like a, a complex that that people who are out of shape have right people who are out of shape you may not be the biggest person in the room but you feel like you're the biggest person in the room because you're not really happy with how you look right so you have kind of like a complex in your head of how you think you look but somebody else may think you're beautiful does that make sense like so we always see ourselves for who people have made us to be right until we step outside of that box and then we realize we can see ourselves how God sees us we don't have to see ourselves how the world sees us and, and that's what's most important people around you see the calling on your life people around you see what God is doing in your life people around you know you have the Holy Spirit I was at work one time y'all <clears throat> and this manager he was not nice to really anybody at all right I had asked him for some help one day and he ran over to help me right Afterwards, I was just talking to a few co-workers and they was like, yo, the manager ran over and it helped you pretty fast today. I was like, did he really? I didn't really notice. They was like, yeah, he did. He never helps us. He's like, he's like, when I asked him for help, this guy was like, well, when I asked him for help, literally, like he sends me like a message and tells me to ask my supervisor. He doesn't come over and help me, like, let alone, you know, engage a conversation with me or whatever. I said, hmm, I, that's interesting. I wonder what it is. He was like, it's God. When he said that to me, I was like, oh, okay, you see too? He said, yeah, I see the spirit all on you. So people see you for who God sees you as, right? But they don't want you to know it because they know once you know it, you're going to take off. Okay, so I'm the one to tell you. I'm here to tell you. God sent me to tell you today, you know, you are who he says you are. And make no mistake, you are a threat, okay? Make no mistake, you are a threat to everybody who is not trying to see you go where you're going okay make no mistake and don't get caught out here slipping okay you got to be cognizant okay make sure you are wise as a serpent but harmless as a dove if i'm not mistaken that is the scripture okay so you don't want to look like who you are people look at me they don't know i have all of this in me you're not supposed to know okay that's for me to know and for you to find out when you try me okay period point blank i hope you got something from this message i will see you in the next one janique here janique tv peace